Hello folks, welcome to the African Alu Outdoors today. So today I'm sharing with you a hunt that took place on the 13th of May this year. Um, it is a hunt that has been a little bit controversial on social media, on my social media pages and that. And it's, it's something that I want to share with you. Um, mistakes do happen, even to the good ones, to the bad ones, all of them. It's okay to make mistakes as long as we learn from them. So I'd been sitting in a hide for three days trying to get a job done on something that's been really driving me up the wall. Um, it is on one of my bush pig baiting sites here and uh, we were getting a little bit low on meat supply for the house. So I like shooting warthog sows. To me they just taste a lot better than the boars um, and also the boars sort of bring us a lot more monetary value in terms of a hunting operation than what the sows do or the although the sows are our producers here we have so many warthogs at the moment it's just it's frightening so i'd been sitting in the hide for a few hours and i had these two pigs come in uh, the wind was horrible they knew something was up they could smell me they would come in they would go charging out uh, the impala would start rutting close by and they would go charging off and and they were very jumpy the whole time so probably not the right conditions to shoot a warthog but you know I, i've only got so much time that i can allocate to making hunting videos and to editing them which seems to be a mammoth task at the moment but um i wanted to bring you guys a video and <clears throat> you know i was a bit pressed for time which are probably the two worst reasons to to do such a thing. But anyway, it's done. So these warthogs were continuously side by side. They presented me with side shots and they were both behind one another. And I have done a few frontals on warthogs and I thought this would be an ideal opportunity to take a frontal on a warthog um, because it would mitigate maybe a pass through and hitting the pig behind and uh, so what happened is the pigs came in and I looked at the situation and the pigs were facing me and I said if that pig moves its head a little bit and it opens up the crease here I'm going to stick one in the crease here and push it through into the gearbox. I don't advocate headshots. Um, I've never personally taken one. I know that they do happen and I think sometimes that they are unintentional and it's just an animal that has moved into the the arrow flight path there but i do not advocate headshots for me i will always aim for the engine room where the major organs are and, and try and put down the animal as efficiently and ethically and cleanly as possible so anyway this pig presented me with a shot and i let that arrow fly um, i shoot very heavy arrows cut on contact broadheads in this case i was using a three blade holy trinity 200 grains I had, uh, I've got a lot of, I've got quite a high FOC. Um, I am using full length para, uh, arrows. My FOC is sitting at about 17%, so quite a lot. And um, the total arrow weight 760 grains. I'm pushing that with a 32 inch draw and a 70 pound bow. So I know that's more than capable of blowing through pretty much anything. So the pigs lined up. And uh, I looked at the situation and I said that the pigs are probably going to roll out together in the same direction. Um, obviously nature has a way of throwing a spanner in the works and the pigs, the pigs rolled out differently. Anyway, I put that shot in. The pig did sh string jump me, so to speak, but it's very hard for a, for a pig to string jump you when it's on its knees. What they normally do is they normally roll out. They'll roll out one way or the other. In my experience, they normally roll away from the sound of the shot or the sound of the bow. And I thought that this pig was going to roll out to her right. So I put the arrow in on the left side with the anticipation that this pig was going to roll out right. So she rolled out to the left. So that arrow obviously went through the ear entered at the base of the neck it traveled through that solid neck i mean that neck is just solid muscle there traveled the full length of the, the the neck entered the diaphragm on the opposite side or the the chest cavity passed right through the lung 
and it passed out. But in the process of that arrow actually passing through that warthog and it rolling out, she changed the direction of the arrow. And that arrow went right through that pig and it entered the rump of the other one. It did not penetrate very far. Um, I've tried to look on the video as to how deep it went. But uh, from what I can see, it, it looks like it was maybe just the head or maybe it just scratched the surface there on the rump. Definitely a non-lethal shot. Uh, um, the animal is certainly not going to die. And you'll see in the video, I've put some pictures of that particular warthog on the 22nd. And she looks fine. She already looks healed up there. So it wasn't a great shot. <clears throat> but the arrow had more than enough energy to get through. Um, complete pass through on that animal. She didn't go very far, I think 80 yards in total, but that arrow severed all the the big veins and arteries in the neck on the pass through there. There was an insane amount of blood. I will put a walk back. So a walk back is from where the pig is actually down to where I actually shot it. And uh, there was quite an insane amount of blood there. So the correct way of doing things is wait for the shot and if it doesn't present don't take it was there enough arrow energy yes absolutely um will i take that shot again i will take the shot again but not with another pig or another animal that has a potential of copping an arrow there so lessons learned anyway i had a great pig hunt last night um and I'll be putting that one up fairly soon as well. It was successful. It was ethical. So we're improving, folks. Anyway, I hope you like the videos. Like and subscribe. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, any of those social medias. Love to hear your comments. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. I'm going to do the blood trail in reverse. So we come along here. We can see she stumbled down over here. There's a very good blood trail all along here. Look at that beautiful blood there. fell down here the first time that's about uh, 20 yards from where the pig is now and she ran all the way up the road here just to show you that is where she was shot it was just over there ran up here total about 80 yards okay so for those of you that are into gory detail, stay tuned. Those of you that are, don't like gory stuff, click away now. This pig did string jump me. I see that uh, there is a shot actually right through the ear. It entered here just behind the neck. So the ear was like that, went through the neck. Right the way through the warthog. An exit was over here. So that is a whole one meter of pig. Entrance wound on the pig was, it went through the ear, then it entered the neck here, 
traveled up along the neck. You can see how nice and fat this pig is. Entered the rib cage there. So it's it's hard miss the spine as anyone's guess. And uh, passed through that lung and it exited up here. So it smashed that big artery that runs along the spine, obviously on its way through. Pig didn't make it 80 yards. Look at how nice and fat this pig is. An insane amount of fat on it.